in this race, check the first two rows. Almirola, Edwards, Bain, and Boyer. The last ten races here at Phoenix in this series have come from the first two rows. Pace car's got the lights off. You can see Eric Almirola has selected the low side of the track, and don't be surprised, that's going to be that way all afternoon long. Pace car has pulled off. They come out of turn number four here at Phoenix International Raceway. The penultimate round, and the white ball, 200, is green. A number of cars getting high out of the groove. They slid back. Look at this. Three wide coming up into turn three. And look what happens. We have contact in turn three as well. The 11 of Brian Scott. The 7 of Danica Patrick. The 82 is also involved in that. That is Reed Sorensen. A log jam with four cars there. The 44. Jeff Green. There's the damage you see on Danica's car. Yeah, a lot of damage there. Yeah, we saw some three wide racing right through the dog leg. I'm surprised they didn't crash there. Yeah. And turn three, man, that's just a tricky, tricky corner right now. Yeah, and we'll be talking about that part of the racetrack all day. I noticed as I took some laps around here in a pace car where it goes downhill as you start into turn three, carrying a lot of speed there, high braking area, and not much room. There's literally only one groove down there in that area. A lot of damage to Matt Fromm's car. The 04 also of Tim Andrews involved in this. We mentioned the 44 of Jeff Green as it all jammed up and, and everybody was telling us dj it is basically single file through that corner yeah and as andy pointed out i couldn't believe when i was looking back on the the uh, back well, back stretch back there through the dog leg that they were already three wide through there and you can't even get into uh, to turn three two wide right now let's see what happened here yeah, and we've seen this on the old track actually this happening early on you just get in there a little bit too hot I really believe because of the, it going downhill now that it's going to be even a bigger problem. See the contact with Fromm there in the 39. Damage to Danica. But things just kept happening. It looks like Brian Scott, his car, his car really snapped around getting in the corner. I don't know if he got any help or not. There you go. No pressure. Go get that 89 there. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. That. Keep coming there. Hold the brake. Just hold the brake. Yeah, You'll be like okay. I, I believe that was Reed Sorensen, yeah. wasn't it? In 82, looked like he got in too hot and got into Keep the back of Brian there. Scott. Yeah, he hit Brian Scott and turned him right. Man, that was a bad angle there. That just caused everybody to have to check up. And there's just nowhere to go. And Brian Scott has been coming off a series of very good runs lately, including a career-tying best third at Chicago. 